to briefly uh, go over an upgrade I made to my machine. Uh, I had to upgrade the computer because a hard drive died in my other computer. Anyway, what's nice is I got a uh, computer from an upgrade that we did at a bowling center. And this just happens to be a touchscreen monitor, so it works pretty cool. Also, um, I am uh, running the mock standard Mel screen set from Calypso Ventures. I'm giving it a shot, and it looks really good. Uh, pretty uh, touchscreen friendly. I'm just going to open up a job here so you guys can see how the workflow goes. Here's a basic setup screen. You know, all the jogging works as normal. Um, MPG mode. You can move in increments. I think I have it set to one one hundredth of a step. Anyway, let's go back to continuous. Now over here, you can set all your offsets. Uh, a lot of uh, probing options. Uh, I don't have my probe yet, but this looks like the way to go. You have one screen uh, for your tool offsets here. Looks uh, pretty pretty clean uh, interface. I can go over here, show all my axes, and I can run this over here. It'll tell you uh, if you need a tool change, I have Mach 3 stop for every tool change. I think the computer runs a makes the machine run a little bit smoother since the Higher processing speed allows me a higher look ahead. Uh, nothing special here. Program otherwise runs pretty much the way it would under the regular Mach 3 screen. Uh, you, little toolpath preview. Back to the other screen of the uh, DRO. So all in all, uh, it's a pretty cool package. Uh, there is a mill turn module where you can use the router as the spindle uh, for turning and you'd have to mount uh, your tools on the table or on a vise. So I'm uh, pretty excited about testing that. I haven't tried anything yet. But uh, it looks like a pretty good screen set and I will be uh, messing around with it in the upcoming weeks. Anyway, thanks for looking. Talk to you guys soon.